Okay, so then make it relax. See how fast these bushes grew. They grew way too fast. They grew way, way too fast. to cut and cut it down again they grew way too fast in six weeks Well, we got the six weeks. But uh, this is um, the piece of land that I purchased in this town. And uh, the reason why I have purchased this piece of land, this piece of lot, is uh, because, uh, first of all, I rent. I rent in this town. This is the town where I live. Like, this is. This is my base, so I reside here, and every morning I hop on my bike to go inside the jungle, and around 4 p.m., I, I, I am on my way back uh, to this town. So I purchased this uh, piece of land, um, was it last year, last year, or? We, was it 2021 or last year? I don't remember. Might have been 2021. I don't. I'm not so good with time. But uh, I bought this piece of land. It's about one acre. That's how big uh, this piece of land is. And um, uh, given that I rent and I think I could build a tiny house, a tiny home where I could live and I could make it look like uh, the way I'm used to. And what else? What else? And I could be uh, on the land. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just have a feeling that my presence on the land is going to take care of all the bushes. You know, me being here, I won't allow uh, the bushes to grow as tall as uh, it did when I was away. So, even though I'm going to be spending uh, most of my day inside in, in the jungle, uh, because uh, uh, me being here is all about being there in the jungle to develop uh, a big piece of land, you know, grow things that we might be able to sell uh, to the locals and sell back to America. There's a lot of things that we can sell back to America. Coconut oil, shea butter, uh, you name it. There's so many things that we can sell back to America if they allow us to. Uh, that's uh, their two things like chocolate. We could sell chocolate back to America but if they allow us to. You know. Because you know how these uh, you know how these people are. They just can't uh, they can't stand competition. You know they don't they hate com competing. So, but uh, it doesn't matter. We we'll, we will sell to the locals. Believe me, Africa has over. I mean, the official numbers is like they say one and a half billions, but we know the real number is over four billions. You know. You know, the official numbers is they say they always say Africa is 1.5 billion people. I know that's the official number, but we know that the real number is is above 4 billion people. Why do I say that? I say that because if we were only if there was if there were only 1.4 1.5 billion people in Africa, there would have been a land invasion a long time ago. 
The reason why these they can't manufacture a land invasion is because Africa is way more populous than what they tell us on on, on uh, what they tell us anyway. So uh, where I am, where I'm standing, this town is about a couple of hours away from three major cities and each city is about 10 million people right 10 million people each city is about 10 million people uh, this town where I'm standing is about 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 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes away from a city that's 10 million plus people so you can only imagine uh, if we just said if we said let's just sell poultry let's just sell chickens you know ducks uh, turkeys if we just decided that that's what we want to sell to the 10 million plus people living in a city that's about uh, 30 minutes from where I'm standing I think anyone who would uh, put invest their money to do that is going to get uh, a good return you know feeding a hundred uh, feeding uh, 10 million people you know you are not going to lose you are not going to lose not only that Lagos Nigeria I think uh, Lagos Nigeria is 15 to 20 million people so you can only imagine how much money you would make having two cities that are not too far from each other with over 30 million people just selling poultry you know just selling poultry alone you got 30 million individuals. I'm not saying that the locals don't sell. They sell, but one thing about us uh, from the diaspora is that we know how to sell. You know, we just know how to do things better. You know, they do things here. Uh, the locals, you know, they are engaged. They do stuff. But the way um, we just know how to organize, basically, you know, one thing they lack is organization. They don't know how to organize. You know, everything is like sloppy. You know, they do sell. Those who sell, they do. They sell their chickens. They sell their ducks. You know, uh, turkey. They sell those. But they are sloppy. They are very sloppy. They don't have uh, business strategies like we do. You know, we know how to grow. We know how to sell. So that's a plus for us. And we also understand that we need to protect, you know, what's ours. That's one thing that the locals don't understand. They don't know. Um, they don't know uh, much about, you know, having the protection for your business before all. And that's something that we understand, you know. They go out of business quicker than we can, and we're not going out of business on our mother continent. You know, nobody would, you know, bully us on the continent. They might be able to bully us in America, but on the continent, I don't think anyone has the balls to come try to bully us on the continent. So the locals, they get bullies from time to time, you know. You know, government official bullies them, you know, so many people bullies them, you know, and, uh, you know, they get affected. But we are not going to be affected by the bullying because, you know, it's not going to happen on the continent. It might be happening in America, you know, in Europe and stuff like that, but it's not happening in the continent. Nobody is going to come bully us on the continent. Not even their God is going to come bully us on the continent. So, as I was saying, uh, I got me this piece of land, and uh, right there where my, my guys are working, making blocks, 
we are I'm going to build a, a te not a temporary home but a, a home where I could have my presence on this piece of land all the time so if there's anything that needs to be done I'll be here and I will do it and that's why you know that's why I'm here that's why I want to build this thing and it's gonna be uh, done it's just a tiny home that's a tiny home it shouldn't take us more than a week you know we've been uh, we started doing this yesterday it was Wednesday and uh, I'm thinking by Wednesday next week we should be uh, done we should be done by Wednesday next week so that's that and another thing uh, why I chose to uh, uh, leave here uh, put my physique put myself here on this piece of land is because uh, those people who will be coming from the diaspora those people who would be interested into you know helping me you know push this this thing through and get a, a foothold on the on this uh, on on the continent you know if they ever wanted to come and see uh, this thing on um, on their own then uh, what I need is to build like one apartment building and that could host maybe 10 people at a time uh, that way if there are people who are interested in into you know uh, investing into uh, my little adventure what I'm trying to do and they could uh, fly in uh, reside into those apartments and we should be able to go to the land and see what's up see what is happening and that way they could uh, make some decision on whether they want to you know invest into what I'm doing or not so that's why you know I want to build like a I want to build maybe one building two if I got the money I might build three and every building we want to be able to host 10 people per building so it's gonna be a one bedroom apartment so if we have in the in the for the in the beginning if we do have you know 10 apartments that's 10 people we can host at a time uh, those who are interested in partnering with us uh, we want them to fly in you know to see uh, the land firsthand to see uh, what we got going uh, to see the potential because we want you we want to take you around town we want to take you around cities that are overpopulated so you can see the potential in um, in purchase in purchasing power. You know, like I said, there's so many people. They are Africa is is over it's not overpopulated but Africa it has a lot of people. And I'm telling you, these people are not really they're not organized yet to uh, Food, they're not well organized for food distribution. The people who are trying uh, to do food distribution here on the continent are foreigners and they don't have, they don't, they can't do much, you know, they can't do much. But um, we can, we can, because this is our home. And knowing what we know, we think that uh, we would do better. And I'm sure that uh, our people would be uh, happy to see us run things uh, than uh, those Arabs, white folks, and uh, East Indian people. So uh, what do I need for you to do uh, now is um, whatever you can, whenever you can, you know, there's a, a PayPal cash app on the description of the video maybe like of the description of every video you know from time to time whatever you could uh, uh, donate to help us move out a little faster it will be appreciated and uh, like I said who for the potential uh, partners for the potentials 
investors. What we want to do is we want to build uh, some apartment. We want to build uh, our first uh, building, apartment building, where we can uh, host, you know, 10 people at a time, uh, which we will walk through and show the potential, show the land, and show some more land that uh, if they are interested, uh, some people might be interested of acquiring their own land and we will walk them through the process of acquiring their own land so that's the goal of me being here it's a lot it's a lot going on in america and i'm sure a lot of my people wants to get out of there at least a lot of my people want to have a getaway a getaway um a getaway plan and, and actions uh, speak louder than anything um, that you could uh, talk and spew whatever so this is the town it's a small town but it has a lot of people so it has a lot of people the thing about Africa is, is in every home there there are more than 10 people in every home so it doesn't matter if the house has three bedrooms, four bedrooms. There are at least ten people living in those uh, uh, in those homes, and that's the thing about Africa. That's what I'm saying. Uh, there's the potential, the uh, purchasing power. You know, there's there's just.